Today I'm at Dreamland Margate, I'm going to get on some rides, so I'll see you in there. And here we have a map of Dreamland Margate. Yeah, you've got the scenic railway just over here. You've got the rock and roller coaster, crazy golf, mirror maze. Uh, just down here, you've got the big wheel, might go on that later. And a really nice chair plane. I'm not gonna go on that today though, because I've been on lots of chair planes at the likes of Butlins and other places. And also indoor, you've got the roller disco, that looks really good, and I'll show you some footage of that later. And here are the prices and attractions available. Every ride's £3 each, apart from the Scenic Railway, and that is £6 each. Really nice chair plane ride there, that looks great. And if it wasn't for me, been on lots of these recently, I would have gone on, but well, I've been on too many. And first ride of the day is the Scenic Railway, the UK's oldest coaster. I can't wait to get on there, I've been looking forward to this one. for the scenic railway here we go looking forward to this and here we go on the scenic railway yeah it's quite quiet here today got a full train but yeah still very quiet uh, at least it isn't raining it's scheduled for rain all week but there's no rain today which is good We've got the rock and roller coaster just over there that'll be the next ride coming up yeah looking forward to that one as well <laughs> Just had my ride then on the Scenic Railway, yeah I really enjoyed that. Unfortunately though, when I tried filming the train coming in the station, I was told off uh, for filming. I'm, I'm really not sure why. All of the staff are friendly here, but that one staff member at the start wasn't great at all. He's a little bit rude if I'm being honest. At the end though, he was a bit, bit better, he was okay at the end, but yeah, it wasn't great. Right, on to the next coaster. You got the Margate Express just there, nice little train ride for the family. Here we go, the time has come, it's time to get on Rock and Roller Coaster. Time for a ride on Rock and Roller Coaster. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Here we go then, I'm rock and roller coaster. Whoa. So cold man. Yeah, I like the layout, I think it's good. Looks like a decent family coaster, here we go.
second lap round then in his rock and roller coaster at Hollywood Studios when he got this here at Margo. Just got off rock and roller coaster. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. It's very re-rideable. And they got the tunes pumping out on there. It's really good. Here at Dreamland, there's also a crazy golf course. This is quite nice. Yeah, I like the way they've painted us all up. It looks all brand new. Yeah, it's really nice. Not the biggest, but obviously it's meant for little children. Yeah, it's really good. Look at this. Yeah, the jets look really well done here. As you can see, they've done a great job with them as well. We've got a nice little ghost train here as well. You've got lots of little party game stores around here that you get at most places where you can win lots of prizes. Dreamland in Margate as well, it's known for their acts here. They have lots of acts going on over the summer and I'll show you what they've got available. Yeah, they've got lots of little food outlets scattered around. Right by the show area, you've got loaded fries, fish and chips. You've got a pizza area there as well. And you've also got a burgers and dogs place. And you've also got a bar there, but that's shut at the moment. Obviously that's open when the shows are on. Yeah, they've got a really nice big stage here. They've got lots of food outlets and there'll be lots of places to sit. There we go. Scenic railway going around there. Look at that view there. Yeah, as I was saying, the stage here is really nice. Lots of acts over the summer. And I'll show you who's playing right now. So the first act is they've got Gabrielle here. And then you've got the Margate Pride and Dreamland. You've got the likes of Bewitched, Claire Richards, Duncan James, Lisa Mafia. And the list goes on. You've got Ocean Colour Scene. On Saturday 19th of August you got Dizzy Rascal. On Friday 25th of August you got Oli Mers. And Saturday 26th of August you got Groove Armada, they're really pulling them off here. Friday 8th of September you got the streets, love a bit of the streets. You've even got UB40 on Saturday 30th of September. And for Christmas Thursday the 21st of December they got Slade. Martin Kemp three days before Christmas. Yeah, the list just goes on and on and on. That's not all of them, but literally I'll be here all day saying all those. Some really good acts there. Last ride of the day is going to be this huge big wheel. And I'm going to go up there and give you some views of Margate and the rides on offer here. And here we go on the Dreamland wheel. Love a good wheel. Well, actually, I don't love a good wheel. I'll let you into a little secret. I absolutely hate wheels. I always have. But um, yeah, I'll go on it to give you the views on it. Yeah, I'll go on any ride in the world, including any roller coaster, but give me a wheel that keeps moving around and it stops at the top. I actually hate it. You get some great views of the scenic railway there, just going down. Went on that earlier, you can see it's very slow around there, but obviously it's the UK's oldest roller coaster, that's how they were built. Just down there. Yeah, I've only got on three rides today. This is my last ride of the three. This park's obviously based around families and We've got lots of children friendly rides here as well. Yeah, there goes the scenic railway. Yeah, it's very windy today. Yeah, you get some great views as I said. Got a train going along there, the Dreamland sign. I'm shocked at how many shows there are here this summer. They got a really good lineup. The best lineup I've seen of anywhere. I mean, completely shocked about that if I'm being honest. It's great there. Yeah, they're only loading a couple of carriages at once. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, on the busier days they're going to struggle with that, um, I'm not sure why that is, I've never seen that on a wheel before, but yeah. Here we go, the wheel's going down, this is the second lap round, so this should be it on the wheel. And yeah, there's a nice breeze up here, it was nice and hot earlier, so this breeze is lovely, cooling me down. The stage is really good. And that was the wheel, giving great views of Dreamland Margate. Dreamland are famous for their roller disco, and they've still got it here. No one in here at the moment, because it's the end of the day. But yeah, this looks really good, especially when those tunes are blasting out. Roller disco. And 
and right by the roller disco they've got this nice little coffee area here where you can grab a cake and have a sit down on that nice waltz or there for the Yeah, it's a really nice little coffee area there. And they've also got a nice little arcade area. Lots of machines in there for the little ones. I mean, who doesn't like a nice little arcade? And on the way out of Dreamland, you're greeted by these retro pinball machines, fully restored. Yeah, they've done a great job with these, they really have. Just give you a closer little look. We've got the Dolly Parton one just over here. Yeah, look at this. Really nice. Working nine to five. Here we go, time for a go on moon flight. Let's get this one out. Let's see what we can do. It's a little bit slow. Be here a while. Oh, that didn't last very long, did it? There it goes. So, what did I make of Dreamland? They've got a really fun, chilled out vibe in now. Really enjoyed myself today. Didn't go on many rides, but yeah, I had a fun day. I got on the scenic railway, that was good, I really enjoyed that, great trains on there. The surprise for me today was Rock and Roller Coaster, didn't look much but it was really fun and it looks really rewritable with the tunes on there as well, pumping out. And the shows Dreamland they're offering over the summer were absolutely unreal, the line up there was crazy. Yeah, in the past Dreamland have had lots of financial problems, but it looks like they're sorting that out at the moment. And they will add different rides in time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow. I'll see you in the next.